Hey Scott, my name's Simon from Little Big Marketing San Diego. You spoke to my brother Mark earlier. I think you spoke to actually one of my clients today as well, Paul uh, from SD Junk Pros. And I just wanted to give you this video to give you a little bit of an overview of how I do what I do, um, but also clear a few things up with you in terms of um, SpyFu as well. I wanted to just show you a couple of things there um, and maybe recommend a better tool. I'm not sure if, you're, if you've been doing the SEO yourself, but I'm gonna point out a few things that could be improved, um, but also what a strategy you know would look like if we were to work together. Um, so first of all, I want to show you the SpyFu stuff. So I've got SD Junk Pros in here. I'm not sure how you uh, came across this spike, but I'm I'm assuming if you were looking at um, SEO and not PPC to begin with, you saw some kind of a spike like this. So we're seeing a spike in organic keywords. That's because I've now uh, made his. Uh, sorry, made SD Junk Pro's online presence relevant to a whole lot more keywords as I've added content to their site, added backlinks, um, and added uh, blogs, citations, social media accounts, posting, things like that. So there's a lot of different things that, that come under that, but essentially we aim to add more keywords um, that they are relevant to over time, okay? And then if you saw a... Um, saw possibly this one, because I think you mentioned something to him about... Um, possibly doing well at one point, then had a dive in, what was it, August, September 2022, and then obviously they're creeping back up now. Um, what's happened here is we took uh, one site over and we rebuilt their site and, and relaunched it here. So that's probably what's accounting for this dip. Um, and these keywords here weren't relevant keywords. So now the, the keywords that they're showing for are actually relevant. So these 359 are just more relevant to, you know, junk removal, mattress removal, appliance removal, appliance recycling, et cetera, all the different services that um, that they offer. Okay, and I can show you that in a minute. Um, so you probably saw that. I'm just going down here. You'll see that they're, gr they're gaining a much larger, um, you know, core keyword presence than most other people just because of the way we, bu we build the site and, uh, build out their online presence. Scrolling through, um, you can see they're picking up these these ranks, uh, you know, for, for these new keywords as we go. Um, but what I wanted to, to tell you about SpyFu is it's unfortunately not the best um, tool in terms of all these estimated metrics that it gives. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a, it has a small algorithm compared to say Google's algorithm or a tool here, I'm going to show you this tool in a second called Ahrefs. You might have heard, heard of it, it's a little, it is more expensive than SpyFu, um, but it gives much more uh, up-to-date and accurate estimates. It's still all estimates, um, but I am going to show you, this is Google Search Console if you haven't seen it, these are exact um, metrics. Um, but this tool here gives a, you know, a much broader overview of what's happening in terms of SEO. Um, again, I'm going to walk you through some stuff on that. Back to SpyFu. Um, yeah, just don't trust too many of these metrics, really any of them. Um, it does work okay. This is for the PPC research. It can be okay. However, these guys have been advertising for quite some time. Um, you can see there, looks like four years, which would be about right. Um, and so I'm not sure why it's just dropped off here or, you know, one PPC click that's just not right. But it could also be because I've added them to a subdomain, which is not yet been, you can see they've only got two paid keywords. Um, this tool is just very slow to update its metrics and I've probably only added them to that subdomain a few months ago. Um, and so these won't get updated for some time. Okay, so but that's probably why you are uh, not seeing, um, you know, metrics you'd expect to see for a company that's been advertising for a long time here. Okay, and then if I show you the accurate metrics here first, and then what I want to do is double back and show you the opportunity that you have in Portland and how I would build my strategy. Um, so you can see here, this is over the last three months, I'm looking at SD Junk Pros. You can see when we first took them on and we add them straight away, we add their site to this tool to start measuring and tracking. Now this is called Google Search Console. It's a Google tool. So it's basically 100% accurate data depending on the amount of data you have. If you only have a small amount, it won't give you all of the data, but as you get a larger amount, it, um, it tends to, it, it pro provides more of the, of the data. It's 
more of the data. But it's it's yeah, it's like ninety percent accurate, I suppose. Um, now, if we're looking here as we launch the new site, you can see this purple line is impressions, and as you we launch the new site and they start Google finds them and starts now uh, relating them to a lot more keywords you're gonna get a lot more impressions which is why we see that increase and then a nice jump and what's gonna follow that is this blue line which is the amount of clicks okay so over the last month or so you can see they've had a lot more clicks on their website than back here um, and it's important obviously to note that, that that those clicks are from relevant traffic to a search term to them. So you can see here Junk Removal San Diego has had 28 clicks in the last three months. However, if I go to the last 28 days, which is since their website has been their new website has been live, you'll see that nearly all of them come from that period. Okay, so um, in fact what I can do here is go back to three months and click on this term so we're only viewing this term now and you can see there was a few through here probably from when I was doing research on the site and then you can see here now it's starting to gain some steady traffic from that super relevant term um, plus if I get rid of that you know junk calling San Diego San Diego junk removal so they're all starting to creep up getting more and more clicks um, you know as, as uh, SEO takes hold. SEO does take time to gain enough um, branded online presence and enough relevance for all those keywords to be seen at the very top. Um, so this, this click rate will increase as this average position um, for the keyword, for the relevant keywords increases. Now I hope this isn't all ridiculously technical, um, but I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview because they are a relatively new client and I know that you spoke to Paul and I just wanted to kind of clear a few things up for you, okay? So that's all that. Now what I wanted to show you was uh, the opportunity here for you in Portland if you haven't seen this before. So I've just put in your site and you are um, currently relevant to a lot of terms, but if you look over here, so the keyword, anything someone would search on Google looking for a particular uh, service or product or information, okay? So obviously one that's relevant to you, um, junk removal Portland, Volume here is is how many times per month that keyword is searched in Google, so uh, 1,500 times. And the position here is the position that this uh, website page of yours is on the Google search results, so essentially page, page five, okay, as of five days ago. Now, the opportunity there is obviously enormous. You've got 1,500 searches there, and then if you're looking into, you know, you've got another 400 for just Portland junk removal, mattress disposal Portland, 350, mattress recycling, disposal, junk haulers. You know, you basically wanna make yourself relevant to as many of these keywords as you can over time, and slowly creep your way to the very top position as your brand becomes bigger than your competitors, okay? So I wanna show you a little bit about that, and I just accidentally clicked that. Um, so if I come back to your website here, there's three main areas that I like to focus my SEO on and they are content, backlinks and citations. And I'm going to uh, sort of talk about them all as I go, but I think you probably have an idea of most of them, if not all of them. Um, but first of all, content, what I'm referring to is words and images on your homepage. Um, and, and other pages that you are trying to rank, but starting here, Google likes to see at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on a home page. So as I scroll down, I'm just gonna have a look, see how many words you've got, but I'm also looking for images, okay? Google also likes to see more images than your top competitor, and those are images taken with a mobile phone, uh, just as good as anything, particularly when they are, uh, they carry location data embedded on them. When you take them with a mobile phone, they often do, if your settings are correct, um, that, that then tie that image to a location um, in your service area, okay? That's important. As as far as your word content, um, by adding that 1,500 to 2,000 words, it allows you to become an expert in the topic, okay? You, and your your services and um, business is your is what you wanna become an expert in, okay? The services that, services that you offer. If Google has 10 different people that it could show to a client looking for someone, uh, for someone that's looking for your services, it wants to show the, that person the very best expert that it has. So that's a sweet spot, 1,500 to 2,000 words, to becoming the expert for, for your target services. 
It also allows you to get in more of these keywords, okay? So if you're struggling to get in more keywords into your page because keyword stuffing is a thing, having too many on the page, so you need to spread it out throughout content on your page. Now we have good ways of hiding it, um, so, so your page still looks clean and nice, um, but you certainly need to get some more images and uh, content on there. And of course you are competing against uh, Junk King. So if I put in that top keyword that we searched before, saw before, Junk Removal Portland, I do just want to point out that in conjunction with SEO, which is a long-term game, we do, uh, we do offer Google Guaranteed Ads that are a pay per lead advertisement, meaning you only pay when you get a phone call or you get a form submission through your website. Um, so these can be very lucrative and very effective when done correctly, as can these ads here, which are a standard Google pay-per-click ad. Um, we do use these as well. Um, and these, these both provide you a short-term revenue boost that then pays for the long-term SEO campaign, as well as provide you with some short-term cash, um, cash in hand being the idea. So um, we also focus heavily on Google My Business because these provide very uh, very, or very hot leads. Um, people tend to trust Google when they, when they see someone at the top of this, this local business map pack. Um, they tend to click it quite often and they often become a lead and they often convert. Um, Google's very clever at the way that they've built this. They've given that user or, or the, um, that prospect, the lead, everything they need in order to convert and become a customer. Okay, so you want to be in this top spot. And then down here is your organic search results and your top competitor, Junk King. So that's who I've chosen. So knowing that that's your competitor, you know, if we go and have a look at their um, on page SEO in terms of content and images, videos are great as well. Um, but you can see there's a bit more content so far, not a whole lot. Um, but this is what's called a back page. It's not their home page. You probably can't see this. Let me just show you what I'm highlighting here. So, whoops. So if we come back and look at this here, you can see there, um, hopefully you can see where I'm highlighting. This is a back page and not a home page. Okay. The home page is, would be from this section forward. So you're only going to try and rank against this back page. Um, but for a home page, you want that sweet spot of content and then you want more images than these guys, okay? And they should be uh, optimized images as well, SEO optimized images. Now, how do we get here? So number one, we become an expert uh, by adding those things to our website. Number two, we go out and get endorsements. So um, backlinks provide us with endorsements and all a backlink is, if you don't know, is where one website refers to another via a clickable link. But when somebody does click on it, it takes them to that referred website. Um, and the backlinks come from a referring domain or a referring website. They're not all created equal. I can see that someone um, around this period here added an awful lot of referring domains, so an awful lot of backlinks all at one go, all in one go. This is not a good idea. Google picks this up as inorganic or not organic um, immediately and just will not rank your site. Um, Typically, when you look at um, other sites such as um, Junking here, and I'll just go to the same view. You'll notice a more steady increase of referring domains in most cases. See there, it's sort of, it's not one big spike. So that looks more organic to Google. So that's what we need to provide Google with is we, need, we would need to tidy this up to make it look more organic um, as though those links are added over time naturally and not not the fact that you've gone out to get them deliberately. Okay, so you've got a heck of a lot here, but they're not they're not valuable links. And if I click on this, I can actually see exactly where they're all coming from. And I can show you, and I'll just put it bluntly, any links that aren't essentially industry relevant or location relevant in some way are pretty well useless. So out of these thousands that you have, if I'm looking at some that might be, um, you know, to do with junk removal or anything like that, it doesn't look like there's any domain names linking to you on this first page that are um, from, you know, hyper relevant sites. Um, because if, if you think of it this way, the best, if a backlink is an endorsement, well, the best endorsements come from other experts in your industry or at least other industry relevant websites. Um, if that makes sense, and or lo locally relevant sites, okay? Um, 
So this is just a whole bunch of links that are just being thrown on here. But the best way to do it is to come along and look at our top competitors. They have given us a roadmap, which is their backlinks, and they're already ranking, so we know they work. So we go ahead and we get the exact same links that they have, but then we go ahead and get a whole lot more uh, industry and location relevant links on top of that, so that you become the firm expert in that location for that, for that industry or for that niche, okay? So now you're the expert um, with the content and now you're being endorsed as the expert. Now we wanna go and grab, grow our branded prominence or our brand online presence to become large. If you think of it like Nike, um, they have the shoe, which is like the expert product. They have endorsements from athletes and they also have storefronts all over the place. So what we wanna do is go ahead and create citations. And citations are what help us rank mostly in this map pack. Citations are anywhere your business name, number and address are mentioned anywhere on Google, but primarily on things like uh, directory listings and social medias like Facebook, um, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, there's a whole bunch more, there's literally hundreds more. Uh, and then your top citations, Yelp, um, Home Advisor, Angie's, Angie's List Expertise, Triple B, Chamber of Commerce, your local Chamber of Commerce, and so on. And so. That's essentially what we do with brands is we take them from, um, we, we, grow, we promote them as the expert, then we endorse them as the expert, and then we grow their branded presence online. And we also utilize things like CRMs, which is a customer relationship manager to help you um, nurture leads, follow up leads, um, get automated review generation and uh, review replies. All in all, what this helps do is get you the most optimized cost per lead and then the op most optimized cost per close. So that's, they're the two target metrics that we're trying to, um, to work on to get you the cheapest leads and the cheapest closes at, at the volume that you want. Okay. So if this is something that you're interested in talking about, um, let's set up a meeting with myself. Um, and I'll go over exactly what it is you might be looking for. And then, um, I will go, go ahead and do the research to make sure that I can generate the results that you're looking for do up a proposal and a plan to show you exactly what it would look like um, to move forward. And then we would decide uh, whether we'd be a good fit to work together from there. So I hope this uh, helps. And with that, I hope you have a great day and I hope to hear from you. Thanks a lot, Scott.